Hi everyone, I'm Catherine, the artist behind Bigelow Fine Arts. Come color along with me on this page of bottles from Worlds of Wonder. This is a great page. Each little bottle works up quickly, but still has enough space to add in little shadows and detailing. This set of videos has been kept very close to my normal speed, only sped up just a touch, especially the background. If there is lots of interest in more beginner style slower color alongs, I can make more, just let me know. I am working on the house. For some reason, I have a hard time with house colors. I think it is because there are so many variations on house colors. I am coming in with a light layer of light cobalt turquoise for this house, something different. Plus, I haven't used these colors before, so why not? If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps keep you informed of when I post new videos, as well as join in on the color alongs. I have palettes and timestamps in a Patreon post, so go check that out if you want the whole list of colors. Subscribing is the best way to keep up with the color alongs. With the cobalt turquoise, I want to come in and begin blocking in where the shadows are going to be. This will be under any eaves or other overhangs. I want to take my time on this to ensure I have a smooth gradient from the darkest part of the shadow out to the highlight and not have any sharp lines or transitions in color. I want smooth gradients. I darken up the shadows even more at the darkest part with some helio turquoise. I also decided to make the banner blue with this helio turquoise, so I'm filling it in with a uniform layer using small overlapping circles.
The eraser I am using is the Tombow One Mono Eraser, and it has a really nice fine point, and it is a somewhat hard eraser that erases colored pencil pretty well. Cutting a piece off a regular white eraser will also create sharp edges, and they work pretty well too. Back to the light cobalt turquoise. I am adding in another layer over everything with extra layers where the shadows are to help blend out and fill more. I don't want to darken the house too much, but I want to fill in the paper and blend in the shadow colors together. Since this is darkening up the color a little, I will have to go back and darken up the shadows I already put in to keep the contrast the same. I am filling in the leaf things on the banner with dark green. I thought it would look nice, but it's only okay. Going back to the house, I am darkening up the shadows, as I said I would need to, with some helio turquoise. I feather out the color lightly, but I do want to make sure it is dark right up against the top of the overhang. If you've made it this far and have enjoyed coloring along with me or just watching this bottle come to life, I'd appreciate it if you give me a like and subscribe to stay informed of when I post more videos. It really helps me out. Check out my blog posts on Patreon. I have a short write-up, my palettes, and a list of the chapter breaks, and they're available for everyone. If you have any questions or page requests, please leave them below or reach out to me on social media. I put in a list of chapter breaks in the show notes, as well as a list of equipment I like to use. If you use any of my affiliate links, it really helps me out without costing you a thing. I post three times during the week, and subscribing is the best way to stay in the loop. On to the wood details. I am coming in with a layer of bister over everything wood. The banner pole, the pot stand again, the overhangs, the deck on the house,
I blend in Walnut Brown over top of the bister. I'll work up some of the shading with the Walnut Brown too, just to get that going. Basically, that just looks like extra layers in the area where a shadow needs to be. I come in with the sepia to darken up the shadows, and for some of the areas with wood planking, I add in lines of texture with the sepia to simulate a bit of wood grain. For the windows, I opted to make them grey. I am coming in with a base layer of cold grey 5 on all of the windows. I add in a layer of cold gray too on the trim around some of the windows. I then blend that out with ivory. For the metal work on the roof, I am starting with a base layer of cold grey 4. And I might as well touch up the windows a little while I'm at it. I bring in the cold gray 3 to add in some shading to the metalwork, just a layer to one side. Back to the sky with more sky blue to darken up the sky a little more and keep filling in the paper. Backgrounds take a lot of time, but by breaking it up, they don't seem to take as much time.
I'm also giving the clouds a very light layer of sky blue to tint them just ever so slightly blue. I wasn't sure what color to make the lid, so I eventually decided to just make it match the house. I came in with a base layer of the light cobalt turquoise over the whole cap. I then came in with the cobalt turquoise and filled in the sides of the cap, leaving the center light. The center will be the highlight. It should be a little off-center. With the Helio Turquoise, I darken up the shadows, keeping it to the edges and just beside each line of the cap. I come back in with the light cobalt turquoise and blend everything together with another layer. For the roof, I am coming in with a light base layer of walnut brown. I decided the roof could match with the wood decking and details. After I add in the base layer, I put in a little shadow under the ridge. I am now blending the walnut brown with a little bister. I blend the roof with some ivory since I don't want the roof to get too dark. I blend in the other woodwork as well since I touched it up with more bister. And after thinking about it, I decided to just go through with the ivory and blend together the cap and the gray of the glass as well as a little on the highlight. Thanks for joining me on this bottle today. Let me know below or on social media if you colored along. I'd love to know how you did. I want to thank you all so much for coming along and joining in with me on this coloring journey. I appreciate all my subscribers and look forward to more of you joining in and coloring along with me. Please like, share, and subscribe to help that happen. Until next time, happy coloring!